Join the Wide Whale team May 29th at 3 p.m. Eastern for part two of our three-part virtual event series, Voice of the Resident. For part two, we will look specifically at residency. Using AI topic analysis, we've analyzed the free text of 400,000 Google reviews from residents of hundreds of top multifamily groups, including the NMHC Top 50, to identify how often 50 key topics are mentioned by residents. By filtering for and analyzing the topics by life cycle stage, we can isolate which topics are more influential during residency, verse tour, or renewal. Go to widewhale.com slash data to sign up or find it in the Revise community. That's widewhale.com slash data. Welcome to another episode of the Multifamily Collective. Today, let's talk about soft being hard in the business world. And what I mean by that is that soft skills, things as it relates to people, the values in your organization, the mission, the vision, uh, the consumer experience, the team member experience, all of those things are or demand soft skills. And that is actually the hardest part of business. The hard part of business as it relates to analytics or managing things through spreadsheets and financial statements and things of that nature, that I'm not suggesting that is easy, but it is not hard like human emotion, like managing people, like leading people, like imbuing your values, the values of the organization into the hearts and minds and souls of the people that work for it or for you. That's hard. That's very hard. It's hard to source on the front side for individuals whose personal values align with your business values. It's hard to create a consumer experience that aligns with a personal set of values, things that people desire to get out of a relationship or partnership with an organization. All of that work is hard. Dare I say it's messy. I once was walking in a bookstore and I saw a book on a shelf, caught my eye. The title of the book was something along the lines of business is awesome, but for people. Business is awesome, but for people. And it just struck me that that is true. It, it is very hard work. Imagine this. I used to, I used to own a landscaping business called the Lawn Ranger. And every day I would go out, I had over a hundred accounts, um, people's yards that I took care of. And I would mow grass, I would edge, I would blow off the driveway, sidewalks, things of that nature. I had uh, four guys that worked uh, with me and for me. And I'd get home at the end of every day and I was thoroughly exhausted. But it was like this good exhaustion, right? A physical exhaustion felt really good. Fast forward several years, I'm in the property management world. I'm working with people on the consumer side. I'm working with people on the uh, employee side, I'd get home at the end of the day and I would literally fall asleep on the couch trying to get some like downtime watching a, a television or something of that nature. I would literally just pass out because the emotional work was much harder than the physical work. It's just hard. People's emotions get introduced into every equation that we do, whether it be negotiating for something or it be, be trying to get something done through other people. You get all these messy emotions that enter themselves into the equation. Some are very overt. You know they're there because their personality is a person's personality blends to it. <clears throat> or there are more subtle people. Or there are the passive-aggressive types. There are all these types of individuals that come together to make business work on a daily basis. So the punchline of this is just know that all of that stuff is very hard. And it takes a tremendous amount of reps just to get yourself on a level playing field and just know this, you will never learn all of the nuances of every single person that ever works with you, for you <laughs> in, any in any organization. Just know that that work is hard, but it is also incredibly fulfilling when you figure out how to combine your efforts with others' efforts and you can wade through the messy emotions and create an outcome that is beneficial to the people you're trying to serve, whether it be consumers or your teammates and yourself. Take care. We'll talk to you again soon. Join the Wide Whale team May 29th at 3 p.m. Eastern 
for part two of our three-part virtual event series, Voice of the Resident. For part two, we will look specifically at residency. Using AI topic analysis, we've analyzed the free text of 400,000 Google reviews from residents of hundreds of top multifamily groups, including the NMHC Top 50, to identify how often 50 key topics are mentioned by residents. By filtering for and analyzing the topics by life cycle stage, we can isolate which topics are more influential during residency, verse tour, or renewal. Go to widewhale.com slash data to sign up or find it in the revised community. That's widewhale.com slash data.